I'm Tracy Walker. I'm a filmmaker. I'm Rachel Baskerville. I'm a photographer. And together we are producing a calendar. Join us as we take to the road to get to know 12 fabulous women and their old girls. This is Old Girls on the Road. Today we're visiting Maddie. Maddie's all of 13 and she's owned her 1970 Ford Cortina Mark II for a year now. Maddie tells me her dream car though is a 1955 Chev, in particular white and teal. In all of Queensland, there's only 102 Mark II Cortinas. Really? All through Queensland. Um, only 18 of those are registered to females. So oh. you and I are one of 18 people. So did you know about this car? I did actually know about it, yes. Oh. Our friend uh, Jerry, who's one of your neighbours, yeah. um, he told me about, he knew I was researching old cars, and he told me about this car around the corner from from him that was owned by a woman. And I thought, oh, I must, must get around there and have a chat to her because it's another female yeah. Cortina owner. And then the next thing I heard, she'd sold it. And then we somehow came across you guys and, and found that you were the ones that would, had bought it. So it's just all these coincidences. And now you've got this lovely, lovely white Cortina that is just like mine. I'm looking to see what it looks like in there. And it's a 1600 motor. Blanche's little yes. sister. <laughs> yes, and mine's only a 1500 motor. Have you had much to do with any of the mechanical work with your car? Have no, you helped out at all? Not really. Well, my granddad has shown me what he's done, but I didn't help. I just watched just and watched. Learned, yeah. yeah. The parts arrive at our house, and then my dad tells me what they're used for, and then I come here and I'm the first one to show my granddad. Oh, and then he straight away puts it in. What do your friends at school think that you have a car already? Well, I've told most of them, but they don't believe me. And then when I show them, like, oh my God, you're so lucky. I'm like, <laughs> yep. And are they expecting you to have just like a, just a little modern car? And then they're quite surprised when yeah. they see that it's a cool old car? Yeah, because, well, they know my family's into old cars, but I told them the year and everything, they had no idea. No idea. And they're like, when they saw that, they're like, oh my God, this is amazing. I'm like, oh, thank you. <laughs> so what sort of things are they into? What sort of things are your, your, your girlfriends into? Shopping and makeup. Shopping. Are you into shopping and makeup? No. No? So aside from classic cars, what else do you love doing? Um, gymnastics. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. Does that take up a big chunk of your time? Yeah, I step fits on weekends and trainings during the week. But yeah, it's basically it. How, how long have you been doing gymnastics for? Five years. Five years? Yeah. But most of my gymnastic friends, they come to car shows with us. Oh, okay. right. So that's cool. So you go to a lot of car shows? Like, every weekend they're do on you, the go. Do you? How long have you been going to car shows for? I think one of my first car shows, I was like six months old. So since then. Right. So always. Yeah, always. always. All, the whole, whole time. So when you're going to all these car shows and that, you must, you must notice that, gee, there's a lot of blokes around here. Yeah. Yes. Do they treat you nicely? They treat you with respect? Well, when I go to my auntie's coffee shop and work with her van, like, they always come say hi, and I know all my granddad's friends, yes. and they introduce me to everyone. And well, I'm sure they nice. would really look out for you in such yeah. a situation. Yeah, that's good. Uh, when you get your licence, I reckon you and I should go on a little drive together. Yeah, Go on definitely. a run. What do you reckon if we try and find the other 16 female oh. Cortina owners and start our own club? Yeah. How long before you're able to go for your licence? Three years. Three years. Yeah, three and a quarter, I think. Uh, have you had any opportunity to have a drive of it off the road? You have. <gasps> Tell me about that. Um, it's only like two weeks ago. And I think I drove for like 30 seconds because then I nearly gave my granddad a heart attack because <laughs> I didn't, I forgot there was a brake and I was just on accelerator and clutch and just lost track. Good granddad to have. You're yeah. lucky to have him so close and yeah. around. I sometimes just ride my bike here just to talk to him and see what he's doing. Oh, do you? Yeah. Thank you so much for being involved with this. It's been 
We've had a fun day. Yeah, thank you for asking me to do it. That's OK. Just smiling for me. Yeah, perfect. Hello, hello, hello. G'day, you must be Maddie's granddad. I'm Maddie's granddad. Hi, nice to meet you, I'm Rachel. Hi, Bobby. Oh, I've seen you before somewhere. <laughs> Hello, darling. So you're responsible for this whole family yeah. being into classic cars. They've got it in their blood. Carly's married to a um, wog. bit of a car nut. <laughs> a bit of a car nut, isn't she? Well, a wog car nut, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. well, that's OK then, as, yeah, long yeah, as, yeah. as long as he's into the cars. So, Neil, you must have been pretty stoked when you figured out that Maddie also shared your love for cars. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. And, and you helped her acquire her first yes, car. Yes. How did you know that it was the right fit for her? She picked she it. She picked it. Ah. <laughs> Maddie said, oh, I love that car. I said, well, let's get it. Yes. Dunk. The next day we bought it. Yep. I can understand why you love this car. It's They're, they're pretty cute, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. That it's a small cool. XY Falcon without yes. the steroids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a bit easier to park in shopping centres yeah. if you're going to Oh, yeah. No, 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 Oh, it's beautiful, yeah. That once belonged to Neil Young, the singer. Really? You're kidding. No, I've got all this information in there. How did you come by this gorgeous piece of machinery? I was in California and I met Neil Young's producer. Oh. And he said we're having a lot of cars for sale. I said, well, oh. I'll take two of those. Oh, two? Amazing. So which car are you going to learn to drive in? This one. In yours? This one. Yeah. <laughs> Is yours a manual? Yes. Yep. Yes. Right. Good on you. Yeah, it's a good fantastic. skill to have manual driving. Yeah, well, my parents don't trust me in their automatic yet, so they said, learn manual, then we'll, yes. then we'll talk. Yes. Once, yeah. you, once you can drive a manual, you can drive anything. Neil, do you just have daughters or do you have sons as well? No, no, no sons. Just daughters? Mm. Yeah, then. And did you teach your daughters to drive in classic cars? Yeah, I, we took them up the beach and said, right, there's a four wheel drive. See you back when the lights come on. Right. <laughs> And that was it before mobile phones and yeah. all that stuff. Fantastic. And do you think that you introduced your children differently to the classic car world because they were daughters rather than sons, or was it all the same to you? All the same. All the same. And do you think if you'd had a son that the girls would have um, had as much uh, <coughs> guidance and attention? Much the same. Yes. Good on you. Yeah. Lovely. It's pretty sunny out here. I reckon it we should adjourn well. inside, see if those other ladies are ready yet. And my beer fridge is in, I need a beer and them. Um, the girls will never be bloody ready. Right. Well, the beer's sounding good. The beer's sounding good. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go.